Hi, Hella. It's cold and raining inside my house. I sent you a voice note like this last year this time. <laughs> While you were sunbathing up there in the north. I've been struggling to get hold of you this year and was getting more and more concerned, especially when your birthday came and went and we didn't have our usual fun catch up. And then last night I thought to Google your name and there was your obituary. And so in honor of your magnificence, your joie de vivre, the incredibly cool way you chose to live your life, I've patched together some of our voice notes and written down some of the memories we share. And I thank you for your friendship, my dear friend. And to those listening, there is a little mystery that I would like solved. If you could listen to the end and let me know who this mystic in Morocco is, because I feel that my dear friend has sent me a message from beyond and I would like to answer that call. Thanks. Love you, Hella. Hello, Therese. This is Hella. Greetings from Berlin in Germany, where I have been the past months. Sorry for not having come back to you earlier. Uh, it's been so busy and I it was also quite turbulent packing up and leaving for overseas and, you know, all the renting out and all this and going to the Congress. It was a, a good success and everything is well. So I thought, well, I really need to contact you now. I, I came back from a lovely holiday in Greece. Uh, recovering from all the stress before and now we are in winter now sort of it's getting quite dark early and one feels like a bear wanting to retrieve into a cave and just sleep so yes so you probably have a lovely spring evening out anyway speak to you sometime um usually i'm at home in the evenings uh let me know uh, when i when we can chat. I uh, hope you're well. I'll send you some pics. Hela. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much, Hela. <laughs> I have been wondering how you are and where you are. Um, I am in Nepal. I have been trekking for some weeks, doing the Annapurna circuit. It's been pretty tough and I've been quite ill. <laughs> so I'm busy recovering um, outside of Pokhara at a yoga retreat and I am feeling a bit better um, and I'll be heading home in about a week's time missing uh, Cape Town and the family and everything but grateful for the big adventure and I'm happy to see that you've also been adventuring <laughs> we are definitely uh, soulmates <laughs> lots of love to you and thanks for touching base I'm glad that the conference went well and good luck with that cold dark winter are you going to be staying in berlin for some time or what are your plans lots of love sharice oh hello sharice it was so wonderful to get your picture up in the snow and this pristine landscape just as i was walking the streets of this big city on black friday and you know, wondering about civilization and all that. We'll speak to you sometime. I hope you will feel better now that you are in a retreat. Well, I'm, I'm, I look forward to knowing more. Uh, I think you must have had a lot of stress. It's just taking it out on you. Lots of love and speak to you soon if we can. Hello. <laughs> just this nagging cough still. It's my last day in Kathmandu and I'm flying out. Can't wait to see my family and get home. Um, it's been a long <laughs> journey and quite exhausting but amazing of course i'm very grateful i hear you on questioning civilization on black friday <laughs> also can't stand consumerism anyway i'm staying right near buddha nut stupa so i'm gonna go do my circumnambulation and mantras and i'm sending you lots and lots of love and yeah tell me when are you planning on being back 
in Cape Town. What are your plans going forward? <coughs> bye bye. Thanks for checking in on me. Therese, my dear, thank you for your message. That's wonderful. Oh, you must be so happy to go back and it sounds like you are fine again. Well, me, I'm staying in these, this area, this continent, um, probably till July. So I'm spending a whole year here. And for Christmas, I'm heading off to the North Pole. I'm actually bo I'm booked a boat to go to Norway and to get off in Bergen and do a little skiing, you know, on this post ship, on this post, famous post mail boat. And then when the mail boat comes back, I will get onto the mail boat again and travel back to south of Norway, oh, sorry, Sweden. And yeah, that is my way of escaping the city from for, from Christmas. I just don't feel like being here for Christmas. Yeah. So this these are my news. Yeah, I'm enjoying life here as it is. It's a bit stressful. City life is stressful, I find. Undergrounds and traffics and all that. But I'm just using, I'm enjoying my creative space in my flat with all the painting and decluttering and so on and i'm going to take some courses and do a little traveling like now yeah the, these are my news i hope you have a very safe travel back and let's chat from cape town when you're back in cape town love hello sharice thanks so much for your lovely greeting yeah lovely to hear from you i'm actually also thinking of you well i'm still in berlin i went to uh, was away for uh, a work um, a workshop in Alexander Exchange workshop. It was fabulous somewhere in the province here. So I'm coming back home today and going out with friends on a boat trip to celebrate this important <laughs> event. Well, anyway, it's not really because we never get born or we never die. So according to Zen, you know, I was thinking of you as well. I'll, I hope to chat to you sometime in case you're interested. I have got a contact of a Sufi master, spiritual master in Morocco, which I am hoping to see in August. And apparently it is a very powerful spiritual, also healer in cases. So I thought you might be interested to know about this. Anyway, yeah, let me chat to you. Um, all well so far. I don't know how you are. Yeah, sometimes it's tough, sometimes it's all right. Okay, very sunny here now, very dry and hot. Greetings, hello.